They defy gravity. Holland! Oh my word! They're masters of the extraordinary. Incredible! And make the impossible possible. Oh, what a hit from Patrick Schick! We analyse how to score the perfect acrobatic goal. The key for acrobatic goals is perfect body control, giving you the ability to score from seemingly impossible situations. Here, Frankfurt's Aydin Brustic keeps his eyes on the ball. What happens in the following second is just brilliance. Spinning on the ground like a break dancer and lobbing the ball over three Mainz defenders and the goalkeeper. The goal probability here was just 7%. And that is improvisation of the highest calibre. Just as nimble and one of the best goals of the season, Leverkusen's Nedi Amiri against Frankfurt. A footballing work of art inside four seconds. He makes the run forwards, anticipates the ball over the top, does a 360, controls the ball with one touch, and then the incredible back heel finish. And that back heel finish, outrageous. Flowing movement, a sensational finish, and a goal that can only be scored when you boast great coordination and special athletic ability. And that's where two players particularly excel, Erling Haaland and Robert Lewandowski. Dortmund's high flyer Haaland proved that acrobatics aren't just for finishing, but also keep for creating goals like here against Bayern. Haaland is capable of covering 10 metres per second, the second fastest player in the league last season. Even at high speed, he plucks the ball out of the air, takes it on with his knee, and while not even on the ground, flies around Manuel Neuer. A goal that only an acrobat like Haaland can score. Well, how about this from Robert Lewandowski? He combines extraordinary abilities. Like Haaland, he sprints after the ball here against Schalke, draws it out of the air, blocks off the defender, shields the ball, and keeps it controlled under pressure. That's a lovely ball for Lewandowski. Great control, Lewandowski! Lewandowski is in a class of his own, as we saw with his goal against Bielefeld. Acrobat and artist all in one. A piece of chest control 1.7 meters above the ground, before a finish at a height of 1.2 metres. World-class work in half a second. Nobody has ball control like Robert Lewandowski. And he was at it again against Gladbach. The Bayern striker is almost horizontal in the air as he lines up this shot. No part of him touches the ground. Only nine in 100 players score from this position, but Lewandowski isn't your average player. That is spectacular! Again, we see that body control from Haaland with his breathtaking derby strike against Schalke. From 1.7 metres up, the Norwegian thunders the ball into the net. An amazing leap paired with body control and athleticism. He's in the air for almost a second. The greatest example of an acrobatic goal was Valentino Lazaro's scorpion kick. The Gladbach man scored in a way never seen before in the Bundesliga and fans rightly voted it goal of the season. Have you ever seen the like of that? But how could he do it? The Austrian international sees that the ball is coming behind him, so he has to improvise. He lets his body fall forwards as he tries to make contact with his heel, 1.6 meters in the air, and he does it perfectly. The ball flies into the net at 61 kilometers per hour, almost as fast as a conventional drive. Incredible goals reserved for only the greatest artists, and we get to marvel at them in the Bundesliga. Which acrobatic goal impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments.